Welcome back everyone, it's your boy Killer NC, and in this video I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the ZTE Axon 7. All right, guys, before we open it up, let me give you some statistics. This is a 4G LTE unlocked phone, so you can pretty much use it with AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro PCS, Cricket, and any other GSM-based network. It's rocking the Android 6.0.1. It has 2.15 gigahertz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 with integrated Qualcomm Adreno 530 GPU. This model has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of ROM. Expandable slot up to 128. 5.5 AMOLED display 2560 by 1440. 538 PPI with Gorilla Glass 4. 20 megapixel hybrid IS rear camera and 8 megapixel front facing camera. That's pretty badass. 4K UHD video capture, high five audio with Dolby Atmos playback, dual front facing speakers, which you rarely see on any phone nowadays, 3250 milliamps non removable battery with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. All right, guys, I grabbed this from Amazon. They had a really good sale going on. I say 50 bucks on it, so that's not too shabby. I ended up paying $350. And I actually also got a pair of headphones with it too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a review on them after this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Here's the box that it came in. Pretty good presentation. Pretty big box. Got the axe on there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open it up. Here's the phone. Let's put that aside. Got your headphones. Look good. We'll try them out. I don't know if you guys can see, but they got it got a little bit of the uh, silver plating. Looks like rose gold. Got your USB cable, and I believe it's Type C. Yes, Type C. See what we have in here. Register, warranty, quick start guide. And it has safe and antibacterial screen protector, which a lot of phones don't even bother bringing. So I actually didn't know this, so I went ahead and bought my own, um, but this is always a good backup. And what else do we have? I've looked like a little keychain. We might be able to put this on. I'm not sure why, but hmm. strange. We'll see what, that, what that's for. Then of course you have your your charger dock. Pretty big. And a micro USB to type C adapter. And let's see what else. No way. It actually brings an actual see-through case. Now again. I should have done my homework. 
should have read better. Uh, maybe it puts that in the description, but I didn't know that. So I actually ordered a case itself. Um, think it's going to be a better quality, but all in all, I wish I would have known. Maybe I would have held off a little bit, but oh well, extra case there. All right. And it looks like that's pretty much it. Pretty solid box. So let's go ahead and turn it on and go from there. All right, guys. So here it is turned on. After a couple logos, first thing that comes on is talking about the SIM cards. Well, here's the funny thing. Remember that one black thing that I stated that I was not sure what it was, lanyard or something? This little piece right here with the ZTE. This is the piece that you use to take the SIM card slot out. Never seen that before, so I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what I'll use to go ahead and take the SIM card slot out. Can't do it right now because I'm actually using uh, the phone that I'm gonna be taking the SIM card out of to record this video. I have yet to get an actual camera that's on my wish list all right so let's go ahead and for now we're gonna go ahead and skip select Wi-Fi let me go ahead and pick a good one pick this one uh, let me go ahead and sign in right, date and time I'm not in London so Okay, so this is in no alphabetical order. Eastern Standard Time. Set up fingerprint, yes. Yes. And we'll do pen. Locate the fingerprint sensor in the back of your phone. That's this bad boy right there. You can add another fingerprint. I'm okay with one. And now, help improve your Android experience. No, thank you. Hit next. To enable hardware acceleration. Uh, sure, what the hell. All right, and then you present it with this welcome screen. Welcome wallpapers, widgets, and settings. Touch and hold background to customize. We're all used to that. And then here's our home screen. All right, guys, that wraps up this unboxing video of the ZTE Axon 7. I'm going to go ahead and use it for a couple of weeks, and then I'll come back with a review, let you guys know whether I suggest you buy it or to save your money and get something else. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like, subscribe.